Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and previously we have seen how we can convert object into JSON and we have also deserialized it and then we have learned how we can work with object inside the object and now in this video we will see how we can work with list uh, or arrays inside the object okay, so first of all we will need to add JSON dependency so just search JSON Android dependency and click on the first link We'll copy this implementation and we'll paste it in the build.gradle app level and hit on sync now. Okay, so now I'll just close this and and first of all we'll just create an object of JSON. So JSON JSON equals to new JSON and then I'll require one model class. So hit on new Java class and this will be student. And inside this we'll have two variables so private string and this will be name and also we'll create for email and one for age and then we'll create another class that will be course so here we'll have two variables first will be private string and this will be course name and then private int this will be fees and we'll hit on generate create constructor select both hit ok and then in student class we'll create a list of course so private list and we'll pass in the course this will be list again we'll just right click and generate create constructor select on hit on ok and then in the main activity first of all we will create one list so list course course list course to new array list and then course list dot add new course and let's pass here java and fees will be 299 and I will just duplicate this 3 and let's provide 5 Android and then we will create one student object so student student equals to new student and we will pass name as Elon and then Elon at the gmail.com we'll pass in the age as a 42 anything what we want and then course list then we'll create one string so string json and this will be json dot to json because we are converting our object to json so we will need to pass the object student object and this is serialization so let me just write it over here and then we can just log this so log d and message will be json and I will hit debugger over here and I will click on this debug button ok so as you can see we have this this on string so let me just copy this value and we will create new file so new file and this will be let's say student data dot json and I will paste it over here let me just minimize this and now I will just beautify this ok so we have this age uh, email and name but we have this list and inside that we have the arrays 
So this is the list object and it is holding the array of three elements and each element is uh, itself an object. So as you can see, this is object and inside that we have these values. So Java at the first uh, because we have added Java at the first. So this is at the zeroth position and this is at the first position and this is at the second position. So these are the arrays. So that's why they need to be in proper order. But this age, email and name, these are the key values. They don't need to be at specific order. If you want to get the information, we can just point to the key and we'll get the correct information. So as you can see, our object name is list. But in the main activity, we have created the course list. So it actually doesn't add this course list there. Instead, uh, it adds this list that we have specified in our model class. Okay, so this is how the JSON works. Now we'll just deserialize this. So for that, I will just comment on this. So control slash. And we'll create one string. So string JSON data equals to double inverted and semicolon. And here we'll paste in that JSON value. So this should be data. Okay, so now we need to create one student object. So student, student, we want to convert our JSON value to student object. So we'll just call our JSON dot from JSON and we'll pass in the JSON string. So JSON data and then we need to pass the class. So student dot class. Okay, so now uh, we'll pass in student over here. Student dot to string and I'll hit on this debug. So as you can see, it added a new object that is student and inside that we have the age, name and list, email. So as you can see, we have the list and its size is three because it contains three element. At zeroth position, we have the course name and then we have the Kotlin and then of course we'll have Android. Okay, so this is working. Let me just minimize this. So this was the deserialization. So let me just add it over here. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll uh, create our own JSON and we'll try to fetch it in our Android app. So that's it. Do subscribe and thank you for watching.